Hello, my name is Michael Sanchez. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this video, I assume that you're a parent that has a boy or girl interested in learning to play the violin. I'm so excited to tell you about what I have to offer as a teacher. You're actually in my studio currently. This is where I teach private lessons. Currently, I have about 55 private students that I teach weekly. And about 75% of those students are under the age of 18. Teaching the violin to kids is totally different than teaching the violin to adults. When I teach an adult, it's very much to the point, you know, we're covering a lot of detailed concepts. And, you know, the way that I speak, the way that I teach is totally different than compared to a student that's, for example, between the ages of 7 and 12. You know, I'm, I'm very much about encouraging students at that age because, you know, it's all about just, you know, helping them through to not quit the instrument, to stick with it, you know, to learn certain habits. And actually what I've learned through the years, you know, with my teaching is that kids and, and parents really bond through these lessons. So if you don't know anything about the violin, that is totally fine. Everything that I cover in the lessons are going to, you know, go from the very beginning, the very basics of, you know, how to hold the instrument, you know, how you can work with your son or daughter to, you know, help to do proper technique. Uh, through my lessons, I also cover, you know, fun songs, you know, that kids really want to learn. You know, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, you know, to make things fun. I try to make, you know, balance that funness and, you know, informational side of things. So that's why I put these videos together, you know, for just kids and not actually combine them, you know, with adults as well. So I'm really excited to have these available to you. And, you know, the thing about it is, you know, you can ask questions anytime. Uh, my email is rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. I also have a live chat feature. So if you're having trouble with your child on a particular lesson, you can always live chat me and I can answer the questions right, right then and there. Another thing, too, if you don't have an instrument yet, I do offer rentals. So as you guys can see here, I actually have an instrument that is a, a quarter size. Now there's different sizes for different students and I actually have a kind of a breakdown of that on the website superiorviolins.com. But basically if your child's about seven and they're about normal size they're going to be in a quarter size violin. If they're five they're just starting you know they're going to be in the smallest size which is a sixteenth size. But if you're confused about that please email me and I will explain everything to you. When a student comes to me at first I'm always measuring, you know, how far they can wrap their hand around the scroll. This is one way you can tell if if they're not able to wrap their hand all the way to about here on the scroll, then the violin is too large for them. Now, if they're it's really easy for them to wrap it around, like they're here and they're not even extended, then the violin you need a bigger size. So that's going to be the first step is kind of feeling that out. But I do offer rentals. I'll, I'll ship you an instrument um, for three months at $20 a month. And what's great about that is, let's say, you know, you're not sure if your child's going to stick with it. You know, you can do the rental and then return it if they end up not liking it. So it's a really good option. But it's also rent to own. So if you keep paying, making payments, you're going to own it after 10 payments. So, um, And what you can also do is uh, trade it in for a bigger size when the time comes. So you can keep trading up until the full size level. Hopefully they stick with it, right? So with lessons, I'm going to be referring a lot to the student, talking to them individually. Uh, I kind of talk to or students like they're between the ages of 7 and 12. That's kind of my range. Um, but I also do have some videos for more toddler, like, you know, 5 to 6, a little older. Um, so there's a little bit of everything, you know, on my site that you can kind of feel out what works best for you guys. But I definitely not just talk to the student, but I talk to the parents as well, to you you know, to show different things. So what I'll say, for example, is, you know, your child's finger should be in ex these exact spots in this particular song. So if you see that they're not, you have to, you know, move things closer together. Um, what I actually do is ship you an instrument with stickers so you can actually see, you know, exactly where they should be putting their fingers. So this is all stuff that you would have as, you know, going to a private lesson. But obviously private lessons are more expensive, and uh, I am a private teacher. I normally charge about $50 an hour, uh, $25 per half hour. So, you know, everything that I normally teach to a student, I'm going to be offering, you know, on my website for a lot less cost. So, basically, you know, with everything that I say, you can work with your child, you know, in these lessons. And then I also do offer Skype lessons, so if you need a lesson here and there, you know, individually with me, you can do that as well for, for my rate. Coming up here, what I'm going to do is actually have a lesson with your child, and I'm going to introduce myself. I'm actually known as Mr. Mike to a lot of my students, so I'm going to be kind of introducing myself to them, 
and maybe uh, after that you can kind of get their reaction and see if they're excited still about learning. And then hopefully you guys are interested in signing up as a member. Uh, I feel it's a really affordable rate for everything that I have on the site. I have hundreds of videos available. So I'm really excited to be able to help you and your child learn the violin. Hi kids, meet your new violin teacher, Mr. Mike. Hi, my name is Mr. Mike and I'm a violin teacher, violin player. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today as I heard that you're interested in learning to play the violin. As you guys can see here on the back, I have a shoulder rest on the instrument. So a shoulder rest is, is something that we use to help hold the violin. So. Do you notice that the left side, the thinner side of the shoulder rest is on the left? Now when we put the shoulder rest under our shoulder, we have to make sure that the bigger side goes right on top. You see that? So we want to make sure that we're not holding it like this. So it's not called a chest rest. It's called a ch shoulder rest. Just like that. So. Now another important thing when playing the violin, we want to make sure that our violin isn't pointing way off the side like this. We want it to face just like this, kind of more in front of us. And we want to make sure that the violin is always level. We don't want it to come droop down like this, right? We want it to be up just like this. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do is be able to do this with no hands. So mom or dad might need to help you with this but you should be able to walk across the room and back with your shoulder rest on your shoulder and try to keep it level. So go ahead and try that um, for a few minutes. See if you can do it. So now that you've worked on that, we're actually gonna uh, try to teach you guys how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. So we're gonna teach you guys some basics and fundamentals, which is a song that I'm sure you know, right? Mary Had a Little Lamb. So it's really important to make sure that we put our fingers down in exactly the right spots in the violin. So Mary Had a Little Lamb starts off with our second finger on the yellow sticker, F, then E, D, no fingers, E, now three Fs, now three E's, three Fs. Right here we rest and then F, E, D, E, F, F, and then E, E, F, E. Good! Great! So that's definitely something to practice. Once you get the hang of that, then we can start learning fun songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Pink Panther Eventually Someday, Ode to Joy, very fun things. And what's going to be cool is that you and mom or dad can actually learn together because learning the violin is not easy for sure. I'm here to help, but mom or dad are going to be really important in this process, okay? So it'll be lots of fun. So you should tell dad or mom if you're still interested in learning to play the violin because it's so much fun to play and I'm going to teach you everything there is to know. So hope to see you in the next lesson. Have a good day.